Hello dears, Ola here. Today I'll show you how to alter a simple notebook with a hard cover. First, we have to cover the notebook front with a black gesso. I'm applying the gesso only on the front because my notebook cover already in a black color. Next, I'm going to add some texture with plaster paste and stencil. If you don't have a specific plaster paste, it's okay to use any other Prima texture paste which you do have. After drying, to get more interesting texture, I decided to add also some crochet doily. To glue it, I am using 3D matte gel. This gel really amazing to glue with it any elements in the mixed media projects. To create more interesting background, I decided to add also some chipboard gears. And because these elements are uh, really thin, I'm gluing them with a strong glue and not with a gel. Now I'm going to add one more type of texture with uh, stripes of uh, cheesecloth and the cotton fabric. To sculpt and to glue them, I'm using sculpture medium. When I want to add fabric to my projects, I really love to work with this medium. But it's very, very sticky to your hands, so it will be better to work with the gloves. Now I'm going to arrange the main elements and uh, we'll try to build some interesting composition on the background.
I just finished to glue all the elements and now I'm removing the gel leftovers with a wet brush. Important to do this to get a beautiful aesthetic look of uh, your finished project. To get more connected look between elements and uh, the background, I'm adding a few touches of uh, black sand paste. And the right bottom corner looks me too empty, so I decided to add some title there. And uh, don't forget to cover it also with a black gesso. Now it's time to color the notebook. In this project I decided to use only Art Alchemy waxes. For the background I picked uh, several tones of uh, blue and purple colors. And uh, for uh, the highlighting I will use rose gold, vintage gold and at uh, the end all the silver colors.
that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, supplies list you will find or on Prima blog or my own blog. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!